Send us your questions for Brenda Hollingsworth from OJ Hollingsworth, Ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. We'd love to get an email from you or jump on Facebook and ask your question about any personal injury issue. Even though we're talking about uh, dog attacks today, it could be anything. CTV Ottawa Morning Live on Facebook. Brenda, before the break, we promised to talk about why some uh, people who have been attacked by dogs are hesitant to come forward with a lawsuit. And why is that? Well, a lot of people are confused about lawsuit and bylaw. A lot of people are worried if I sue this person, the dog's going to be put down. Okay. And they, they, that, I hear that all the time. Something bad's going to happen to the dog if I pursue this. And the fact is, a lawsuit has really nothing to do with the dog at this point. The lawsuit's okay. about compensation, and there's nothing that happens in the lawsuit process that uh, affects the rights of the dog. Really, you're looking at the dog owner for compensation. So the dog owner is the one who is sued, and right. there's really no connection between what a bylaw proceeding might say and whether or not you get compensation. Okay. So they're totally different animals. If you don't report it to bylaw, does that affect your lawsuit? Uh, you know, it, if you get some kind of conviction or ticket or something, or uh, it can help from bylaw, mm -hmm. but no. I mean, again, we've got the Dog Owners Liability Act, and it's strict liability. As long as you can prove that it actually happened, okay. um, it, uh, it shouldn't really affect uh, the outcome. Okay, I think that's very interesting that people are concerned with the dog's welfare, and that's probably because dog lovers are the people who get bitten most often? Absolutely. It's people, you know, you bend down to say, oh, nice doggy, ah. yeah. you know, that's what happens. Okay. And so um, people who are afraid of dogs, don't like dogs, tend to stick clear. Right, okay. Yeah, so, you know, one thing to take from this is it's very important that if you're a homeowner, you uh, tell your home insurance that you have a dog. Um, okay. And a lot of people, you know, you get your home, you get your homeowner's insurance, and you get your dog after the fact. And you don't remember that you told them you don't have a dog, uh -huh. you know, and nobody remembers that. What's, what's the ramification of not telling them? Well, you know, you, probably you're still going to have coverage, but you want to make sure you have coverage for dog bites. Um, most people have, un, you know, whatever your policy limits are, if you have a million dollars, that's the coverage that you have for dog bites. There are some home, homeowners policies that limit it. You have a million dollars liability coverage, but only 10000 Okay. For dog bites, okay. so you want to know you want to know what you have, yeah, yeah, because they can be large awards, obviously. Right, and uh, I want to ask too. I'm sure that it's equal between uh, adults and, and children, but we hear most often in the media, of course, about children because that's the one that hits the heart the, the yes. hardest. What's the course of action? The exact same if your child is attacked? Absolutely. Okay. You want to, I mean, there should be no doubt that if a dog attacks a child, you call by law. Right. But, um, yeah, it's the same thing. You can bring a claim uh, against the uh, the owner of the dog okay. uh, for compensation. And, you know, children are, are less likely to be able to get away from the dog. Course, yeah. So often the consequences are a lot worse. Yeah, and so, uh, and of course... I know that it, it seems uh, like cold-hearted math, but if you have a worse situation, the reward probably goes with that, right? Because of right. the effect on your life. That's right. And so, I mean, obviously, facial scars are a big deal with dog bites. Yeah. Uh, but I also had a case once where a gentleman's hand was bitten, and he lost partial use of uh, part of his hand. When you mess with the tendons in there, huh? Well, that's yeah. it. And, you know, he had a, a couple surgeries and infections and that kind of thing. There were long-term career uh consequences for him. Interesting. So lots of things can happen. And I know that uh, we, we often talk about affecting your ability to work and that being a big deal. Right. And you don't know always that, I mean, it would have taken him time to realize he wasn't going to be using his hand for the rest of his life in the way that he was used to. Right. Which is why they need to make that phone call. Yeah, well, that's it. Everybody thinks they're going to recover. Right. And you hope that's true, but it's it, not always the case. It doesn't hurt to make the phone call either way. Uh, Brenda, uh, Brenda Hollingsworth with us from OJ Hollingsworth. Thank you. You can send those questions. We've got another segment coming your way in just a moment. Ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. We're back in a second.